Hi friends, welcome back to Arc Tutorials. This is Angular 17 full tutorial series for absolute beginners as well as expert developers joining us from previous versions of Angular. This is part 37 of the series. Today we are learning how to create a custom pipe. If you are following this series, you will notice that in the last episode, I cre already created a custom pipe which was of type impure and we made it impure because we added pure as false and we gave some use case of real time data filtering. If you have missed that out, please do check it out. So today we are going to write some more custom pipes. After this, I'm sure that you will be totally absolutely confident of creating your own pipes as well as using the built in pipes. That being said, let's get started. Before I kickstart today's tutorial, please do request, uh, please do, I request you to like, comment, share and subscribe to my channel. Also, if you like my work, please do consider buying me a coffee at buymeacoffee.com slash tutorials. And if you need any project support, training or any of your needs, write to me at surya.aradhyay at gmail.com. Thank you. So following is the playlist so far we have created around 36 episodes and there are around 100 episodes that I have planned. So there is a lot of free um, in-depth tutorial that I am creating on Angular 17. I hope you will appreciate. Today we are learning about custom pipe. So what is a pipe? We know that we have been working on it for quite some time now. We know that what are different types of pipes, pure pipe, impure pipe. We know the difference between them. We also have created a custom impure pipe. Today we are going to write a custom pipe, couple of more custom pipes. All right, so let's get started. Uh, the first one I'll do is to a pipe which will convert every letter of uh, word in a sentence and make it to uppercase. That's uh, one of the use cases. The other thing we'll try is also create a pipe which will do a file size calculator, right? So basically you we pass some numbers and it will convert it into KB, MB, GB, TB, etc. All right. Let's get started with the coding. Not much theory today, but pure hands on. Let's get started. All right. So I am in my Angular 17 project uh, crew management that we'll be building open source and app. And I'm going to first create a component and I'm going to call it custom pipe. And once we have this custom pipe here, I'm going to quickly add that into the route and add map that route to custom pi uh, pipe and map that particular component right here and call it custom pipe component. All right. So this way our map, uh, we have mapped the component to a custom route to verify that. And the reason I always start that is because it's much easy for you to learn individual pieces, right? So custom pipe works. All right. So we have added the custom pipe. And we have the pipe component here, which says by pi custom pipe works perfect so far. Now let's go ahead and generate a custom pipe that we want to work with. So I'm going to say ng generate pipe and followed by the name of the pipe. So I'm going to give capitalize. I hope that's the right word. Yeah. So I'm creating a pipe by the name capitalize. Now what this will do is that um, it will just make the first alphabet of every word that we pass and make it into a uppercase. All right. So let's go ahead and explore our capitalized pipe. All right. So this is standalone is true and we'll have a transform. So I'm saying the value I'll pass is of type string, right? And we are not passing anything else. So leave it as it is. And in the logic, we'll write if not value, that means if there is no value, right? Uh, return whatever was passed, right? That's as simple as that. So I'm going to just say return value. Else, if when there is a value, what should happen? We should return the value, but we should transform it. So we should say replace and let's do a custom uh, regex here and we'll just write a B slash W. I think it's B slash W slash match G. 
and what this will do is that it will match uh, the character and let's go ahead and take that uppercase character again you can write any um, a value that we want to do but I'm just writing care dot um, to uppercase to uppercase and what it would do is that it would just replace the first character that's what this regular expression means I think it's small w yeah we'll test it out whether it's small or big I can't remember right away all right um, so this this is all we need and how do you use it uh, go to your custom pipe that we just created in the imports I'm going to create custom pipe component and in the pipe component we are going to pass some values and map it so let's create a string or you don't even need to create it here you can directly add it in the template so I'm going to add it here in the paragraph and let's pass that value hello world and then I'm going to first show you first let's check whether this is working or not and run it so this is a built-in pipe uh, which is which will get things to uh, lowercase and see what is the error it says no pipe found for lowercase which means once again we need to import the common module okay so now it's good and this is all in lowercase see I'm passing it as uppercase but it's getting converted as lowercase so far so good now take all the small case and and I'm going to now use our custom one capitalize the one that we just created and it's giving some error no pipe found with capitalize uh, did we not oh capitalize pipe all right so you can see every first alphabet character is now uppercase because we are using that pipe right so this is a classic example um, you can also use custom pipes for creating say phone numbers modification formatting it them into a certain way etc right so this is a simple example I hope you will get comfortable with this one in the meanwhile let me see if I can create uh, one more real quick pipe let's create a one more pipe and call it uh, file size right. okay so we got the pipe here now what this pipe does is that we'll pass a value to it and all it should do is that it should tell us whether uh, it's in KB MB and all that all right so basically you are checking for dividing by bytes and you will know what value it will be so let's go ahead implement that so now you should be comfortable writing this because we have done this drill so many times all right so we'll check if not value that means if there is no value return what was passed to it that's the first thing we do then I'm going to have a constant and um, I'm going to say that the minimum value of um, that is KB is K and then const size let's have into different array values let's say bytes and uh, KB MB GB uh, TB I don't know what comes after TB does it anything comes please do let me know um, all right I know up to TB so <laughs> all right uh, so let's take const and here all we have to do is do a simple math dot floor and what we are going to do here is do a math dot log and here we'll pass the value okay and divided by that means you divide basically by uh, 1024 that's all I'm doing nothing great here so now once you have that value then you return the parse value and say parse float um, uh, parse float the value and you can divide that again by multiple uh, things um, say math math uh, dot um, 
you can use POW uh, that's the power and reduce that with I and finally last thing we'll need is two figs that means how many decimal points so let's say two and why is this an error because um, extra no uh, this was closed for math and this was closed for this let's check what is the issue okay this is good um, no not good uh, we'll need I think one more no what's happening here at the end we need yeah okay alrighty so here what we are doing we have defined a constant which is k b is how many one zero two four there are different sizes okay that we have and all we are doing here is in this sizes we are just mapping them to it now at the end you can also mention and map what type of sizes it is right so you can say size of I you can just mention that so that should hopefully solve it because we get the value here and 0 1 2 3 4 yep and to use it again go back to our custom pipe component that we have used and here pass will pass a value but this time we need to pass differently okay it can't just be like um, so in the component I am going to pass a const and I'll say file sizes is an array of um, will be a number array and let's pass the number values like 0 comma 1 0 2 4 comma sorry 1 0 4 8 um, 5 7 6 and in the HTML we are going to loop it and display the value and ng4 is equal to say let a size of file sizes and here we are going to display the size and we are going to write size and we are pass our custom pipe which is file size and we need to import oh okay we got the common module that's all in place let's see what errors we run into okay so we so that's fine uh, don't worry if you run into uh, errors that's that's what I tell every time that's the best way to learn um, and our name of our component is file size so oh fills uh, okay I made a mistake in the name so instead of file I gave it fills um, so make sure that you don't do that mistake <laughs> okay and in the component uh, here we have to write fill size uh, but uh, wait let's check what is the name um, the name is still fill size or I can I could have just changed this name here um, but I'll show you that also once we have fixed the errors okay so it says fail to generate bundle fill size does not exist uh, did you mean file sizes no file sizes is already on this one which is good fill size is the comp pipe that we just imported this should have been good but let's see I'm going to build it one more time right uh, let's see what is the issue now uh, it's not the uh, uh, it's saying custom pipe fill size is not uh, does not exist on type that means it's not getting the reference for this one uh, so let's check here we are passing fill size in the fill size we have it and we are returning the value um, let's let's change the selector and see if that will help us I'm going to use this and go back to the template and use it here let's see it is still saying file size is not available does not exist on type custom pipe fill size is imported 
just check if it is standalone yeah it is and uh, what else could be going wrong let's do one more check and see if that is something that we have missed there is nothing we missed um, we have imported uh, the fill size fill size pipe and let's see this is how we should have got it uh, ideally and let's take a look so you'll run into issues like this which are beyond our control and which is natural so a lot of people think that I write code which is never running into errors so <laughs> uh, that's not it uh, just like any other developer like you I too run into uh, errors and only thing is how do you debug and that's the most important piece uh, let's see it says file size oh 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 because we gave two double pipes okay so that was the typo okay all right so it says 2.54 undefined 2.37 undefined undefined let's go check it out why is it undefined all right so we got the sizes um, we got the sizes in place and here we have bytes kb right and we are saying math dot flow dot log value which is divided by math dot log k which is good oh oh but we didn't close we closed it early on we should have closed it here I ho now hopefully i think yeah so see so it is doing 1 kb 1 mb and all that right so basically this is a simple example of file size calculator and what we have done is we have given a fixed values of sizes whatever value we get we are dividing by 1024 and then appending the MB or KB in the template so these are the two custom pipes that I have created and we are using them I hope um, after this you are very very confident of creating a pipe and using it do let me know if you have any questions Thank you so much for being with me and supporting me and my channel. If you like my work, please do consider buying me a coffee at buymeacoffee.com slash arctutorials. In the next episode, we will learn about parameterizing pipes. Thank you.